Jokic wins the tip, and Denver controls. Second meeting of the season between these teams. Denver won a top one in early November as Jokic spins. Can't finish with the hook and tops in the board. I'm always curious to see the defense against great players like Jokic. First time out, no double team, stay home, not a lot of digging. So you're curious to see how this progresses. Pachimski underneath, finds Kuminga, push shot, no. Looney keeping it alive, but Gordon comes away with it for Denver. Here's Gordon, gets free and slams it down. Here's in transition, nobody actually ever got in front of the ball. Aaron Gordon with the easy two. AJ told you about Thompson, how much better he has been of late after a really slow start to the season for Golden State. Thompson steps out there, and Golden State turns to the players. And, and for a rookie, that's an ultimate compliment. Murray leans in and hits. Jamal Murray has scored at least 20 in four straight games. At a season high 32 a couple of games ago in Brooklyn. Here's Looney. Ducks in, can't finish. Porter Jr. Able to collect for Denver. Gordon, a wide open three, misfires. Aaron Gordon on the season, just 12 for 49 now from three point range. It's the 11th straight Christmas Day the Warriors are playing in as Contavious Caldwell Pope. That shot, that's why you so often see him in the dunker spot for the Denver Nuggets. And make no mistake, him in the dunker spot is a lethal position. So that might be a weakness from a rear, but under 25% this season from three for Gordon. Murray, oh, what a spin, the fade, and the roll. A friendly bounce for Jamal Murray. Dealt with ankle and hamstring injuries, missed 14 games, but has really found his rhythm lately. Curry forced it up, couldn't get it to drop. Jokic, the rebound, Golden State yet to score. Here's Murray, you could tell, feeling in a good rhythm to start this game. Caldwell Pope can hit the three, and Thompson, the weak side rebound. Golden State has got back over 500 with their five straight wings. Kuminga can't finish. Pajimski keeps it alive. Thompson connects. And finding shooters after offensive rebounds. That time it was Pajimski finding one of the all-time greats in Clay Thompson. Pajimski may not be a, a big guy. He is a terrific rebounding guard. Murray doesn't get the roll that time. Kuminga playing his best basketball of his young career. In this recent stretch, since the suspension to Draymond Green, Thompson turns, can't hit. Porter Jr. will pull short, Jokic. Goes cross court, Gordon left alone. Whoa. Almost good sense of thinking about it, too, because he was left that open. Kaminga didn't even close to him. No. But Jamski hooks it up and off, but draws the foul, and Brandon Pachak. Saw those numbers of late for Pajimski. NBA All-Star voting presented by AT&T is over. As Katie talked about the open, could not have had more glowing things to say about Brandon Pajimski. Can shoot. His in-between game is good. Porter Jr. soaring. Of an ongoing Steph Curry Christmas story this afternoon. Here is Curry. This is the banker. Gets it back. Slings it out. Pajimski wiggles free. Can't float it in. Gets it back and sets up Kaminga. Kaminga into the paint, able to finish. Golden State, number one in the NBA in total rebounding percentage, and you're already seeing some of their activity on the offensive class. It's interesting, though, guys, because a lot of times people think, oh, Golden State's not that big. That means they're not going to be a good round rebounding team. That has not been the case at all this season as Porter Jr. hits the three. Curry, trying to dance around Porter, could not, but shovels it to Kaminga. Unable to finish around Jokic, Gordon has it. Can 
Latavius Caldwell Pope attacks the closeout. Murray will do the same. Murray leaning, unable to finish on the second attempt and at last hit. Has been an underrated defender for a number of years now. Chris Paul into the game as Porter hits another three. Sizzling start for Michael Porter Jr. And Michael Porter Jr. is a full six foot ten. So if you're not there early, even on those handoffs from Jokic, if he just stops and pops, you can't contest. It is so difficult because of his height and then his shooting ability. Just an elite shooter. Over 41% from three in his career. He scored the last eight Denver points. Paul bounces to Looney. Couldn't handle it. Gordon has it. 13-7 Denver lead. Gordon motors into Curry, and that's going to go the other way. Curry takes the bite. Right, you know, you get those things. You know, the, those are the things that I'm talking about. Clay Thompson knocks down another jumper. When you hear those terms, that's what I mean. I'm like, he is all uh, right. 6'10". You're there saying isn't... there's no fudging there's or no, fabricating yeah. that height. Yeah, like J.J. when he says he's 6'4". You know, I think J.J. feels like a full 6'4". Yeah, just like you feel like a full 6'7", Richard. Thompson comes up with a steal. Trace Jackson Davis into the game for Golden State. He has found his way as a fixture now in this rotation. Steve Kerr says he's going to play, even with some pieces coming back soon for Golden State. Caldwell Pope connects on a three. Just imploring his guys to get more active, to communicate, to do so much more than what they're doing right now on that defensive end. Kaminga trying to shake Gordon. Gordon come with him nicely, but then gets called for the reach in. And Jonathan, we've already pointed that out. Aaron Gordon has already proven our point. Upset Aaron Gordon was with that foul call, his second. So Gordon to the bench now, and still. Throw Porter Jr. on the cut and the slam. And it's once again Caldwell Pope who finds him. Second time we've seen that in this opening quarter. Ten points for Michael Porter Jr. Kaminga shakes and finishes. We saw the numbers. Steve Kerr said there's no doubt this has been the best stretch of play from Kaminga in his young career. And he gives their offense something they don't have. They are last in the NBA in points in the paint. Jokic hooks it up and in. Beautiful touch from the two-time MVP. Curry, great look. Trace Jackson Davis gets denied at the rim by Porter. Here's Caldwell Pope. Delating sequence there. Defense to offense as Wiggins in off the bench. Buries the three. Andrew Wiggins had never come off the bench in his career until Steve Kerr made that move earlier this month. And will continue with it. As light, the way Pajinski and Kaminga have looked in the starting lineup. And a timeout here.